You've got some surprising breaking news coming in from a federal D.C. court today. A former professional soccer player from Tunisia accused of conspiring with Osama bin Laden on a terror attack found uh, not guilty. Uh, prosecutors accused Nizar Trebelsi of working with the al-Qaeda leader to carry out a suicide bomb attack on Americans in Europe two decades ago. He served a 10-year sentence in Belgium before being extradited to the U.S. Ken Delaney is joining us now with more on this. Um, Ken, if you would, remind us again why Tbilisi is accused of being connected to bin Laden here. This is a remarkable story, Yasmin. And this is not a high-profile case. I've covered the intelligence community for a long time. I was not aware of this case. But this goes back to... Um, before 9-11 and shortly after 9-11. Uh, the FBI and German authorities and other, other intelligence agencies developed evidence about this person and uh, that he was conspiring with Osama bin Laden to carry out a suicide attack uh, on a military base in Europe. And that he even met with bin Laden, according to the indictment that was later filed in U.S. court against him. As you said, he was convicted in Belgium, served a 10-year sentence in Belgium, and then extradited to the U.S. And there's been a long and ongoing legal saga. But he was just acquitted in federal court by a jury in Washington, wow. D.C. We only know about this because our colleague Ryan Riley happened to be there when, when his lawyers emerged from the court. This almost never happens, as you know, Yasmin. These cases are generally open and shut. Yeah. The federal government comes in with tons of evidence. And so we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened here. But it appears that the jury found that his confession was false, or at least they had questions about it. So he was found not so, guilty. So, it's unclear what happens to him now, though. Right, right. So dig in for me just um, a little bit because it's so shocking that he was, in fact, um, acquitted. What does happen now? I'm trying to get answers about that. The Justice Department just now in a text to me has declined to comment. Uh, he's not a U.S. citizen and he's not in the country legally, uh, other than for the purposes of a criminal trial. So. It's not clear what happens to him and under what authority he's continued to be detained. Uh, presumably, they will try to find a place for him to go, maybe send him back to Tunisia. Uh, but they first would have to determine whether he poses a danger, presumably, because there, there may be some military uh, legal uh, issues that come into play here with a with something they've deemed to be a terrorist. It's just a very perplexing case. It's kind yeah. of uncharted territory, Asma. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.